this third blog on a faith-filled warrior. I'm going to take you on this journey. Follow with me and don't miss And If you haven't caught the, the previous lessons, go back and pick them up. We're building on top of those, okay? Now remember this, the just shall live by faith. Now the Bible says you receive Christ by faith, not by sight. That's what the scripture says in Colossians. As you have received Christ Jesus, so walk ye in him. Now watch this here, watch. He said, just like you received Jesus by faith, and not by sight. You never saw Jesus to get saved. You trusted him. You put your faith in something that was invisible, someone who was invisible. Then he says this, just like you received Jesus, I want you to walk the rest of your life. Walk ye in him. And so just as you receive Christ, you don't see him, you walk by faith. That's what faith is. It's not by sight, okay? Uh, 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, While we look not at things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. That's how we got saved. We, 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 we looked and we saw what was not seen. Jesus is not seen, but we could see it anyway in, in a way. It was in our heart. And, and he says, For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. I didn't see Jesus, but he's eternal. That's why he's not seen now. And my salvation's eternal. I haven't seen, but my salvation is eternal. Because, and, and so that's what faith is, is you're, you trust what you see in your heart, not temporally, but in your heart. God shows you those things. Isaiah puts it like this, and he talking about Jesus, shall judge after, shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, nor reprove by the hearing of his ears. In other words, you know what Jesus did himself? He lived by faith. He didn't go on what he saw with his eyes. He didn't go on what he heard with his ears. He, he lived by the, what the Father was saying to him. He lived by faith, okay? The second Corinthians 5, 7 says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Now, you get this, get this. This is really hard to get our brain wrapped around this because we're so humanistic, we're so carnal that it's hard for us to say, I'm going to live by faith, okay? We want to live by sight. And God's called us to live by faith, okay? Hebrews 11, 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things, what? There it is again, not seen, not seen. We look at things that are not seen. We live by faith, not by, uh, by, not by sight. Uh, here it says the, uh, that the faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, okay? Uh, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9 through 10, But as it is written, the eye hath not seen, and nor the ear heard, neither has entered the heart of the man. He says, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. He says, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Now get what he says here. He says, he says, there are things that we don't see. The eye is not seen. There are things we don't hear. The ears not heard. Neither has entered the heart of man the things God has prepared for them. But he says, the Spirit of God reveals these visible things, the spirit world to us. Yeah, so I don't know. You know, this is so far-fetched in this world that we're living in, is that God would speak to me and speak to me about things that are not seen yet, okay? Faith does not coincide with your physical senses, is what God's saying there. Faith coincides with your spiritual senses. That's why he's trying to teach us, okay? And once a person surrenders to the claims of salvation, there's planted within him a desire and an ambition to live by faith. Faith is that dependence and trust in God in the present because of his acts in the past that we have, that we know about, that leads inevitably to banking our hope on his promises for the future. That's a mouthful right there, okay? But getting to the place where we literally live by faith is a journey of unprecedented challenges, unheard of tri trials, unrivaled warfare, unparalleled temptations. Faith is learned in the furnaces of life. Faith is taught at the moment of the lion's den. Faith is found at the Red Sea experiences of life. Every conflict you go through is a call of God for you to believe him and to live by faith. And if what you do does not require faith to do it, then it does not please God. 
I hope that you'll come back and you'll stay with us and, and uh, follow this vlog all the way through on faith.